What's going on, everybody? What is up? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, a.k.a. The Black Fairy. Welcome to all my subbies and guests. I love y'all. Thank you so much for the love and support. This reading is for you, Sagittarius. It is messages from your person, and I hope I can provide some clarity, love, and light to you on your journeys. It is timeless. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell if it resonates. And it won't with everybody, but that's cool, too. Let's get into it and find out. What's up, Sagittarius? It's your girl, Dana Patrice, and I'm here with a message from your person. Okay, so we're going to start by getting the energy from your person, and then we're going to get into, you know, the tarot. Okay, so I'm going to pull an oracle card for you, spirit. I call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message does Sagittarius's person have? Okay, so they're thinking about the future. They're thinking about the future. It says, direct your intentions and actions wisely and your future will be fed with fulfillment. Okay, so they're thinking about their future with you. So I definitely feel this energy. And it's funny because I, I turned the deck over and magic is in reverse i feel like they're and i was gonna say it too that's so funny but <laughs> i feel like they're they're having difficulty manifesting a future with you seeing a future with you i feel like there is this energy of wanting you sagittarius but again they can't they're having trouble directing that intention in that action perhaps the way that they left was not beneficial. Okay, let's get into the reading. Spirit, I call you forward. In love, light, righteousness, and truth. What is the message from Sagittarius' person? message from Sagittarius person. One more card, Spirit. Sagittarius message from their person. Call you forward in love, light, righteousness, and truth. What message do they have for Sagittarius? These cards are still so stiff because they're new, <laughs> so I apologize. <laughs> One last card, Spirit. Sagittarius message from their person. I can tell you just from this. We have the King of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. I feel like they're super passionate about you, wanting to come forward towards you. Again, thinking about the future with you, wanting to manifest something, wanting to have a celebration with you, wanting to get together with you. I say that because we have the Six of Wands here as well, right? So we have the King of Swords. This is a representation of their passion for you. This is a representation of... How, who they want to be to you. You know, I feel like this person's super attracted to you. Whatever you had was very passionate. Um, and when they think to the future, they want to they want to move forward and celebrate with you. They want to have a reunion with you is what I see with Six of Wands. And they want to come in um, as the Six of Wands, you know. they This is how you, they want you to see them when they're coming back. You know, that's the representation of how they want to be received by you when they're thinking about this future with you. And like I said, there's this root basis when I was thinking of the future. Remember not being able to manifest you. They're very, very worried about what happened between you two, what's holding you apart, worried about the things that went wrong. And but some of you, there is a future with you. You would give them another chance. They're just not seeing it right now because they're focused so much on the past of what happened. Right. They can they can't even look at it. They're just crying over in the corner. 
They can't look away. They can't, but they're, they're looking away from, from the cups that have fallen. But because they're so busy crying over it, they haven't noticed and realized the opportunity that still lies behind them in this situation. Spirit, one more card. One more card. Thank you, Spirit. Two cards. Cool. Yeah. The moon card representing a lot of the illusions that they have in regards to this and the seven of cups. They don't think they have any options when it comes to you. Whatever they did, it's really plaguing them. Right? There's some healing that needs to be going on and I feel like spirit's taking them on this healing journey. They need to confront what they did to you. They can't hide from it here with the moon card and hope that you forget what they did. And they know if they need to come forward, these are things that will have to be addressed. And they don't want, they don't like that option. They don't want to move forward and come towards you in that energy. You know what I mean? Even with this healing, we have the chariot card here. So they definitely, they want to come forward, right? They want to be the knight of cups. But what also, what, what shows me right here at the bottom of this deck here, this particular knight of cups does not have an offer. There's no cup but he's very much in the water, right? Because the cups is a water sign, it rep the water representing your emotions. But he has no cup to offer, but he's in the thick of it. So he's, he's, he's wanting to take this chance, wanting to move forward, but I feel like he's not doing the healing, right? That's why he has no real offer to give you at this time, right? Again, this is going to cause fights. This is going to cause conflict because you're the queen of cups. And you're also in your emotions, but you have your cup in your hand, unlike the Knight of Cups, okay? You have something to offer. You have something that's precious to you. You're in the water. You're in your emotions. You're in full control, whereas he's on top trying to find a way through. He's looking forward. How do I get through? How do I bypass these emotions, right? He's fighting this because he knows what you have to offer here. You're the happiness, right? Again, coming out of a tower moment, realizing what he lost with you. Look at this. I can't make this up. Two of ones in reverse, not being able to make a decision on how he wants to move forward, how he, they're, they're going to come forward. I want to say he or she, take it as you will. All right. So this person definitely wants to come forward again, thinking about the future and just not being able to get past things. They know what they did was effed up. Spirit, please clarify this reading for us. Let's post the romance angels, Sagittarius. Attraction. Again, I said that they're very passionate about you with this, with this um, King of Swords energy. I feel like they want to fight for you. Sorry about that, you guys. I didn't have enough space, so it cut off. <laughs> so, as I said, there, there's a, a strong attraction towards you from your person. What else, Spirit? Clarify this message from Sagittarius's person. Yeah, codependence. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This person could have some addictions. Again, it doesn't have to be addictions. It could just be maybe they were too codependent on you. Maybe you were too codependent on them. Maybe that's how strong the attraction was. It almost created this codependency. And I feel like the way that they left was because they were scared of that. Spirit. Let your friends help you. I feel like they're letting their friends help them. They're kind of trying to keep busy, you know, going out with friends, keeping their mind off you. 
something. Do not spirit. Because this is all messages from them. They're, they're, this is their message to you. They're missing you. They want to flirt with you. But they're scared that you won't see them as the one with this could be the one in reverse. They're worried that you won't see them as this person. Bottom of the of the um the deck retreat. You know, they've they've been trying to disconnect from the world. They're trying to have faith that if they take the time that they need, perhaps things can change over time. You know, time heals all wounds is what I'm hearing. Express your love in reverse. Again, not being able to express, express themselves at this time, but very much wanting to. Very much wanting to. Spirit. Clarify this could be the one in reverse. Clarify this could be the one spirit from this message from Sagittarius's person. Yeah, they know that you're the Empress energy. They're trying to find a way to manifest you back. They're even trying to get into that Empress energy. I feel like they're really trying to heal themselves. That's why they're out with their friends. That's why they're, you know, I feel like they're just trying to change. They're just trying to manifest a better future with you. And I feel like they're working on themselves. Again, there's some avoidance here with this, um, the Six of Swords in reverse. There's some avoidance of issues they can't walk away from, something holding them back. Look at this with the Nine of Wands. This is all the things that haunt them that they can't let go of. So maybe this is something they did to you, but I'm also feeling like this is some internal dealings. I feel like almost this person doesn't believe that they're worthy of you. Um, clarify this codependency energy spirit from the message from their person. We have the Knight of Coins. Again, they're looking forward, wanting to make this offer to you. What else, Spirit? They do, but this codependency. I feel like they're still on this journey towards you. They're still on this journey. They do want to offer you more. Clarify this codependency, Spirit. Yeah, they're trying to heal. They're trying to figure it out in their minds with the hermit in reverse. They want to come out of this thinking stage. They want to come out of contemplation. I feel like they want to come out of the spiritual work. I feel like it's a little bit early for them, right? Because the process that they're going through is, it, through is creating the, the king of coins within them. That grounding, having everything that they need, you know, look at all these roots and, and everything that they've learned, right? The turtle is wise, Right. Or the tortoise is wise. They're wise beings. They live for long periods of time. They they've earned that coin. And I feel like this is what spirits putting them through. I feel like they're in this mode of being graduated to the king from the night. Right. Right now, they're the knight of coins. They're looking towards this new direction. There's a bright sun. There's there's a, this great energy for them to change, to become something more, to go take a different path. And they're looking towards that path. And once they can come out of the hermit mode that they're in, right? Because we saw that they were retreating. Um, we saw that, you know, they're 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 still in battle with them within themselves for things that they have done either to you or maybe things that have been done to them. I'm hearing a lot of them are healing their own family trauma and family issues during this time that are keeping them maybe codependent and not allowing them to love you the way that they need to love you. Let's pull some Oracle deck. Let's get some spiritual guidance for this message.
Spirit, what is your guidance to Sagittarius in regards to this person? That's a lot, Spirit. That's a lot. I feel like Spirit's telling you to go within, even with the future energy, right? Where are you being called to journey to yourself? Is this the person that you want? Do you want to wait? Do you want to wait and see if this happens for you? Spirit wants you to know that you're creating life, heaven on earth for yourself. This is happening for you. I feel like if you want this, you can have this. But you need to start getting clear that you do want it and begin to really truly manifest it, right? Because if there's some certain things that you're clinging on to, perhaps. This could very well with him be him realizing maybe, again, where was <laughs> This could very well be them. You know, not realizing, again, that opportunity, right? That's what I said before. With the crumbling, what are you clinging on to? They could be think thinking that this is you, that you're the one who's clinging on to this, that you won't see the new opportunity that they're bringing to you, that you won't see the worthiness of it, right? So they're, they're worried about what you're clinging on to. So Spirit is like, if you want this, right? If you want this, your guidance is divinely guided, we're birthing a new age. I feel like you can create whatever it is that you want with this situation, with all these cards that have fallen out. Spirit wants you to know that you're the one in charge, the warrior woman. If you weren't afraid, what would you do, right? The great gathering, it's all coming together, intuitive hits. And the one card that's in reverse is transformation. So I feel like you're both going through this transformation. You're both birthing this new age. If you want this, and you can feel this divine partner energy, Sagittarius, and this is who you want, then start manifesting it. Start seeing that. Start believing in that. Don't allow there to be things that come into your mind as to why it won't work. Because if it's truly what you want, it can and will. And even with the great gathering, spirit wants you to know that they're there for you. You have spirit guides that are there for you to help you guide to you to the, to the future that it is that you both clearly I feel desire. You know, if you're watching this and you wanted to hear a message from them, you clearly want to be with them on some sort of level. So that being said, start manifesting what you want. Stop giving the universe confusing signals, you know, saying, no, I, I'll never talk to them again one day. And then going back and forth with yourself about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, speaking of divine partnerships, I'm actually doing um, a live which is on today's date. Well, it will be Tuesday, the 9th of March at 10, 10 p.m. I'm going live. We're going to talk about this divine partner or partner or karmic relationships. Do we know the difference? Right. We're going to discuss this. I'm going to do a collective reading that's going to be included. So that's Tuesday, the 9th of March. So if you're watching this on or before that date, as this is a timeless message. So if it's already passed, don't worry about it. There'll be more lives. Click that subscription bell, okay? <laughs> so you'll be notified when I do go live. Um, but yeah, I wanted to invite you guys to that. I'm just going to leave this message right where it is. It's very, it's very clear. There's no need for an extension. Um, however, if you would like to donate to the channel, you're not required to, but it is available through the PayPal link below. However, I would love if you could at least leave an energetic tip by giving this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, click that bell so you're notified. I love you. I believe in you. You've got this. I hope this message gave you clarity. Um, come through again. <laughs> I appreciate you guys.